Hello and welcome to this week's Tech Tuesday with Scale Science. Tonight, we start Project Kaido Mustang and get it out of its bag and onto the bench. Two of the tools I never leave home without when cutting out a body would be my curved Lexan scissors. These curved blade scissors help you walk around radiuses and for me they really help me clean up a lot of my cuts that I make after the fact with my X-Acto blade. Now any X-Acto blade will do, but I prefer this short handled friskers model. It's designed to fit around your finger, which gives it a very nice anchored and confident cut feel while holding. You can also get this nice short blade into really tight radiuses and tight corners, especially when cutting masks and things inside the body. My last reason for the preference of this blade is how I can tuck the blade into the palm of my hand and I can really get that blade flat and kind of drag it along the cut which leads to a really nice straight uniform line. Now when cutting the exterior body panels I prefer a number 11 X-Acto blade. I get my best and straightest cut line results when using the number 11. To optimize your results, pay attention to how you hold it. If you hold it more upright, the blade tends to wander, but by laying it down more flat, you're able to drag or pull it. You aim the back of the blade that isn't even touching the body, and the tip will follow wherever you're dragging that. I find it helps make a lot of those micro movements your hands make much more subtle. Now when it comes to the details, nothing beats a good pair of curved Lexan scissors, especially because these details are quite often very thick from their mold process. But I do still prefer a blade when making long point-to-point -point cuts. Now with the line scored, you can bend and snap along the line. Be cautious and move slowly to ensure that your cuts fully penetrated. Here you can see I didn't complete a cut, so I came back and tidied it up with my Lexan scissors. Now inevitably, you'll have to stop at some point in the middle of a cut. It'd be nice if you could make it all the way down, but things just don't happen that way. So you can see here, I take my time before beginning the secondary part of this long cut along the bumper. As I sit here, I'm mortified <laughs> at that final exacto cut there. That looked pretty dangerous, and I would suggest not running off the end of your piece, as that is an easy way to damage all of your hard work. The bodybuilding process was probably the most intimidating thing to me starting out in RC. However, over the course of time, my patience has grown, and my love for building has grown even more. The RC Drift community has remained a constant and amazing source of inspiration and ideas stemming from all types of things, both building and chassis related. As you can see, it's definitely not a quick process, and if you want the type of results I'm looking for, it takes time and time alone. Oh yeah, and patience. Keep in mind, at this point, we are just taking the body down to its raw cut stage. We're not going to go back and do any final cleanup just yet. We will, however, start mocking these body panels into place and seeing what imperfections will need addressed or tidied up to ensure a nice, tight, and proper fitment. Putting this car on the display chassis is only getting me excited. Wow. Lots of potential. As we wrap up, remember to start each body with a fresh blade, use Lexan specific scissors, be methodical, take your time, and enjoy the process. Catch you next week.